everyone, welcome back. Chris McCormick, VP of Tour and Education here, and joined by Blake Smith, Master Fitter in our Scottsdale studio. And today we've got a fun one. We are gonna be taking a look at the new 2023 Callaway Paradigm Driver family. This guy loaded with new features, loaded with new tech. So with that, Blake, let's go take a look. Let's go. The Paradigm Driver, starting with the face, is a new face cup technology, um, forged face, right behind that, the new jailbreak uh, technology that they have updated. In addition to the new face technology, Callaway is now introducing a 360 degree carbon chassis. It's the newest innovation of their triaxle carbon on the crown, now married to a forged carbon sole. So creating 360 degrees around that new face and really freeing up a lot of discretionary weight for them to reposition and give us a faster and more forgiving driver. Yeah, so you have three different heads here. You have the left bias driver with the Paradigm X, and then you have the core driver, that's more of the middle, um, so that's gonna go straight. And then you've got the triple diamond, so that's more right bias, a little bit lower spin. So with all three of these, a little bit different footprint, different shapes, also going to give us a little bit different bias when it comes to what we're seeing downrange with these. high on the face. Still solid. So as we kind of talked about before we hit this guy, Paradigm X being a little bit more elongated front to back, also having that extra five grams of discretionary weight positioned low, we would expect to see that higher launch, a little bit more spin, and that head that we have to do some testing with today, static loft is at 10.5. We do have it set to 9.5, but obviously going to get a little more launch than what you're used to seeing. But like we anticipated, Paradigm X does have a natural tendency to want to move that ball right to left. So what were your impressions of it? I could feel that immediately, right? Right down the hitting zone, that face wanted to flip over and go left. Um, you know, with all that weight in the back, um, with it positioned toward the heel, um, it's gonna get that ball up in the air. We saw that. Uh, it's not necessarily built for as much speed as like the Triple Diamond is because of the weight. Um, so the ball speed might be a little bit low, but it's really not intended for somebody with higher swing speed. So a lot of times we're looking to capture spin, as we've said in previous videos, but uh, and I think this one's going to do it. So carry distance was a little bit low, but you know, I kind of would expect that. So I mean, if we've got a player out there that's looking for something that wants to help get that ball moving right to left, potentially eliminate a little bit of the right side of the golf course. And this to me was just immediately wanting to do exactly what it was designed to do. Yep. So from there, let's go ahead, make a transition. We'll go into Paradigm Head. A little bit different construction than what we have in the X. Now we have an opportunity to move some weight around and really customize ball flight and a little bit more of a neutral start line. So let's jump into this guy and see what we've got. So Blake, next up that we wanna hit, gonna be that core driver in the family, Paradigm. So this transitioning from the X is gonna give us an opportunity at 15 additional grams of movable weight on the backside of that driver, which I would expect to see, you know, basically a little bit more flight tuning capabilities. Also a little more compact design from what we saw in the X. So let's take a few swings and see what we notice. Well, that went straight and hit hard-ish. I was missed on the toe a little bit, it goes dead straight. Didn't gear on me. 
So wrapping up that test with the, the core head paradigm, I mean, going into our comparison screen and taking a look between Paradigm X and Paradigm, we've got obviously a much different story to tell when it comes to downrange dispersion. Now, just like we saw in the Paradigm X, that head that we're testing at 10.5 on the static loft, launch is getting a little high, spin is getting a little high compared to what you would normally play. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, those are the heads that we have available to test, and it still tells a pretty good story for us as far as capabilities of those heads and how they would perform. So, from what you saw, what do you have to say? I mean, the, the Paradigm, this, uh, this core head, this just wanted to go straight. I mean, the gearing wasn't even really going where I thought it would go. I hit a high on the toe and it didn't want to gear left and I hit a low on the heel and it didn't want to gear right. So the AI, uh, I think, uh, I think is getting it right. Um, new jailbreak in there, getting it right. So, um, you know, it's it, the, the data shows left center. The next one we're going to do, I think everybody can guess is probably going to go to the right. Triple diamond. Yeah. So with that, I'm, I'm expecting some good things out of triple diamond. So let's bring that back, make the head swap, see what we got. So next up we have triple diamond head, which is obviously, as we've seen in models in the previous generations, geared a little bit more towards that more accomplished player. So most compact head design, a little bit deeper face, we're down into a 450cc size head, and this one I would anticipate to see a little bit more of a right by a start line. So for a player like you that does like to move the ball left to right as their stock ball flight, this should be right up your alley. Yep, I'm gonna probably start it a little left and move it back to the center. Let's send but, it. Uh, I'll tell you, this looks great. I mean, it's one of the best looking Callaways they've ever made. Felt good. It's fading. So adding our triple diamond head into our comparison screen here, no surprise, having an opportunity to test a nine degree head, we did drop some launch, we cut some spin. Nice jump in ball speed there. And as we kind of anticipated, we did see a little bit more of that auto fade that we were, uh, that we were looking for out of that head design. So how to feel on your end? Uh, felt real solid. Um, as I said before, I really liked the way it looked. Um, a lot of times when it looks really good, I'm gonna hit it really good. Um, I like that compact look, um, I like the design. Uh, ball speed, obviously I could feel it off the face. It's designed for more ball speed. And with ball speed came dispersion. So dispersion got a little bit wider, but not too bad. Um, I hit that little peeler cut and when it didn't peel back, it just stayed left a little bit, which is, I do that sometimes. I'll aim left rough and, or just the left edge of the fairway and peel it back. But yeah, overall spin rate was good. 290 carry, I'm usually between 290 and 300 carry depending on what I'm doing, so yeah, I think it would perform really well. And I will say that, that that 360 carbon chassis that Callaway's now incorporated into the new Paradigm family, it definitely helps with acoustics as well as giving us an opportunity to really fine tune where they place that discretionary weight for some very distinctly different performance features in every single head. So my opinion, this is definitely one to consider going through a fitting experience and gonna be a good year for Callaway. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, let us know what you wanna see next.